Well, you know, it would have been great if we'd had the internet, you know, 40, 45 years ago, um, because the Black Panther newspaper, um, you know, we could have, we, we would have still probably have distributed the paper copies, but we could have had, you know, a website and people could have gone and, you know, seen it. So I think there have been a lot of advances, you know, uh, and also it would have been a great, would have been great because the different chapters and branches of the Black Panther Party could have kept in contact with mm -hmm. each other. Then we had to just rely on a telephone or telegram, so it was a lot, you know, a lot slower. Um, I think that the way, with, with the advance of the internet, it really helps people to do their organizational work. You can spread the word about if you're having an event, or you, if you look at the, uh, the, the, the revolutions, the, the, the Arab summer, the revolutions that happened mm -hmm. in other countries, they were able to use Facebook and Twitter to really organize some of those. So they are very, very powerful tools, and we use a, a lot of that in our own work. Um, however, ultimately, the, the people who are organizers, community organizers, still have to talk to people face to face. Mm -hmm. You cannot rely solely on the internet. Mm -hmm. So you have to know what to use it for and how to use it. But you know, there are still some people, at least in the United States, maybe poor, low-income people who don't have access to the internet 24 hours a day. They may only have access when they go to a public library. Yeah. And, you know, and once they leave the library, they don't have access. So you still have to go and talk to people. But I think that the internet is definitely uh, a major uh, advance and really helps activists do their work a lot easier.